welcome we're all the way today in ludhiana punjab yes sir and we're here yes, to sir. eat at uh, the single nice restaurant in the city <laughs> uh, and we're sitting here today with uh, chef sneakerhead and content creator Mr. Akshay Arora, what's going on, dude? What's up, man? How, How does it feel to identify as a content creator, also now? So basically, when we shut down the restaurant because of Corona, and uh, at the same time the documentary came out, The Last Dance, and that's when I like started buying shoes because of the documentary, The The Last Dance, and uh, I got so many shoes and they were all different colors, so I want to start styling them with color, and that's how like it started. from just like me styling the outfits and like taking pictures in my room like basically that's it and there was a whole there's a whole there's a whole phase in my instagram uh, like 20 pictures of the same spot which is like right there in my room exactly oh shit and this is different outfits yeah, yeah so i'd say uh, i'm not going to introduce you why don't you introduce yourself i don't yeah. want to do that <laughs> okay do i mean it. i'm just like okay so i'm akshay arora i'm great <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing we knew <laughs> <laughs> what do you do actually what do you do so bro? i'm i i run a restaurant uh i'm a chef uh, by profession and uh basically uh, recently i've been started creating content and collecting shoes so <coughs> i still want to want people to like recognize recognize me as like a chef or like a restaurant or then like a entrepreneur chef <laughs> sneaker head content creator i mean i i say I what are you not people, <laughs> i love when people compliment my restaurant more than like my like content okay. creating okay. stuff that's a uh, little bit ironic <laughs> cuz we're kind of here for the latter <laughs> <laughs> like no offense the restaurant yeah, yeah. is great but like but you don't mind it right you enjoy yeah, it yeah yeah right? i enjoy yeah. i enjoy this and also yeah. your content creations helped you with blaze as well with blaze as well right? and like yeah <laughs> it's 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 good for creating like a personal <laughs> brand <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah dude You've been doing a killer, killer job. Well, uh, the first time I spoke to you or, or like became friends with you was when I made this clubhouse group <laughs> with all these vloggers. Yeah. And we were discussing how all our rates are like up and down and everything. And Akshay was like, "Wait, we can earn money through this." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and then you were like, "Let's unionize yeah. and that, fuck the uh, brands." Yeah, after that, that was my like right after that uh, Instagram account. Like yeah. within two days, I had like a paid thing. Paid thing, right? Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah so you realized, oh, we can. Like that, that meme, you know, the from the what is that? We're the Millers movie. Like you're getting paid thirty grand. You're getting paid ten. You're getting paid. Like that's hilarious. Exactly. Yeah, man. Christian's a shark. Christian's a proper shark. You all learn how to make money from Christian. He makes the most money. What? That's BS, dude. That's BS. Whoever says no to Christian is like, you need to rethink your strategy. You. You can't say no. You can't say no. You can't say no. Dude, I'm affordable. I'm nice. Affordable. Yeah. It's a great US vacation. No, people are dicks, dude. People are dicks. Yeah, of course. People are dicks. I mean, I am one of those content creators or like the brands. No, content create and brands. To be fair, yeah. Yeah. Thing is, you know, I'm very open, like very open about the fact that look, if you want me to do some paid shit, you're gonna have to pay me money that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Otherwise, I like th- this is not my main thing. I yeah. don't do Instagram at all. In- I, my Instagram is a joke. So <laughs> you want me to do something on Instagram? Look, I'm not cool anyway. <laughs> If you really want me, you're going to pay me money. That's just stupid. <laughs> If it's really stupid, then I'll do it. <laughs> then, then I don't buy it. Like if it makes sense, then like, bro, that's boring. Like who wants to do that? So he did something for a brand, and he told me like the amount. I was like, I started questioning my page, dude. I was like, Why the fuck am I doing this? I was not charging anything. <laughs> Tell you guys, like, I was questioning everything I've done. <laughs> 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 I'm sure he was paying brands for the product <laughs> and then creating the content. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Right? Yeah, He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm what? I was <laughs> like, you are not paying for this. <laughs> Getting but, paid? But honestly, it's not. That's what we got to do, right? That's how yeah. we start, you know. Start so like, from. honestly, I never wanted to like make this into a business or like anything other than that. I really just liked homegrown brands, and I wanted to like buy stuff that I liked because yeah. my whole closet was black like two years ago, yeah. and I wanted to switch to like different styles, silhouettes, and like. different colors so like for example like whopping theories and stuff like i started buying all that stuff right. and after that i realized that you know brands pay you to like do that i'm just like buying them post like shooting them posting them it's like yeah. free for them like yeah, basically yeah, yeah. but it i don't regret <laughs> it because like it, it made me grow kind of a little but dude bit, yeah. you obviously had some motivation behind it because it's not like you were buying any any time you were buying regularly and posting con- like constantly the motivation was just for like to change my own style like i was at this point where like my parents were like are you depressed because you wear black every day 
like my my <laughs> denims and my t-shirts and my shoes everything was black yeah. like like skinny, when I st- everything skinny skinny jeans you like the idea of getting famous i i like it <laughs> <laughs> and that's also i don't think anything wrong with i love it uh, yeah, yeah i think it's 100%. a great driving fact i mean right? it's it's amazing to see like people coming in, coming in and blase and then they're like oh like you really inspire us we love your style and they just like stop by to say hi just because like they've yeah, seen me on sick. instagram yeah. so, like that's pretty cool how many people are there like they are to do that dude <laughs> Th- no offense, but I'm generally how curious. How many people are yeah. in Canada that doing the content creating thing like that? Oh, that I agree. Yeah, yeah. That I agree. It's just why. Who's coming here to see Akshay? <laughs> but how many people are here that would like be following you and like inspire mean, you? So, so Ludhiana is a small town. I'm generally curious. Like how many so people? So it's a very small it? city. Yeah. And everybody knows everybody. So like Blazer doesn't get tourism. Blazer doesn't get like student culture. It's it's all like the same people coming in every week. Yeah. So like you know everybody. You know you see the same faces. So you end up talking to them, and then when once you once they've seen me on Instagram, they like appreciate what I'm doing because nobody else is doing that yeah. in Ludhiana, and yeah, basically. All Very cool, awesome, dude. Have you like like inspired your friends and all to like buy sneakers and shit like that? No, they don't in give Ludhiana? a shit. They don't give a shit. They yeah. No, no, no. My shit. friends are like. I mean, there's a sur- there's a group of people who like really care about what they wear. Yeah. And there's still a group of people who like don't give a shit. But you and Christian both started from a very um, we love homegrown brands and stuff mm. like that. Uh, I think one thing to touch upon that I'm you know very curious. Like I I don't have a viewpoint. I'm just curious about it and I love to see what people think about it. Is is fashion is very inspiration like centric, right? You know, every brand, every designer is inspired. Sometimes yeah. that inspiration is very clear uh, where it comes from. Yeah. Uh, and then that there's a very thin line that's oh is this copying? Is this not? How do you how do you guys feel about like? Yeah, and a, a lot of times with younger brands specifically, right? Yeah. It seems like, oh, this is copied off of this, bro. <laughs> it's the same. Like, is that an issue? Do you have an yeah, issue with that? There's like some brands. I mean, yeah, w- sometimes it's blatant. Too. Yeah, it's yeah. Blatant it's without actually saying that's my inspiration. So, like, I did chef training and one thing I learned in the school was like, there's certain uh, recipes, certain techniques that a chef created and everybody mm-hmm. in the world is just trying to do the same thing but giving it their own, their own like, twist. uniqueness, like, touch. And the, it's the same thing with any other artist. So, like, with clothes also, I think it's good to get inspired. But once you start, like, copying the same strategy, the same designs, like, the same everything, then it gets, like, very prominent. They're, like, you know. Is that an issue? Yeah. yeah you have any, you wouldn't buy something like that? No. I would. I'm yeah, okay with that. You're okay with that. Have you guys heard about this feel good? Oh, <laughs> no, dude. What is this? <laughs> a, it's, like, a brand. A, 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 like a crawl walking a gay walking <laughs> fucking crawling. 2.0 a copycat I mean there are people trying to do similar stuff I mean no, right? this guy is oh, who is exactly this? that who is this I don't know who that is I don't know who, I don't know who the guy is what is I the brand called uh, it's feel good feel, feel good. oh that's oh that's how I was trying to understand what's yeah, going on feel yeah, good. it's called feel I'll good I'll show it to you oh my oh so he's, he's just like a strategy. gay crawling type yeah 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 like a I mean J we stand. get that you're trying to do the same thing but like at least Give no, you don't get it. No, no you I don't get it, it, dude. I mean, he's <laughs> like, you know how Jaywalking says, not the final logo? Yeah. He's like, not the feel good, not the final tagline. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, that's like, like, dude. That's so weird. But can, can that be looked at as a ref? I'm not defending. Yeah. I have no opinion. I'm not seen. But I'm saying, can that just to, just for the sake of argument, is that uh, reference? Is that an homage to, maybe he's a big Jaywalking fan. He's a kid who's trying to I'm do his own to stuff. Like, uh, s- like, at least <coughs> accept that you're, Taking inspiration from that. Yeah, so like how do we know that he's not? Like I commented. Yeah, I commented on his one of the pictures. Oh, y'all spoke to him. I okay. spoke to him. Yeah. yeah, I commented one of the things that oh, like is this jaywalking? And he deleted that comment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. It's pretty okay. obvious that he's like. It's not in his bio. Anything, hide dude. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be fun, dude, if he's trying yeah, to make something. Yeah. yeah. That, that makes sense, dude. That'd be fun. Yeah. So that's I the next thing, right? Uh, you guys are big supporters of homegrown brands, and look, so traditionally when brands were built, uh, you know they would build create product and then they would talk and show their product to consumers at either fairs or stores and invest in a retail experience and all of that to build a brand right? yeah. the brand would have to come from ex- investment or sales today you can start drawing t-shirts and put it up on instagram and boom i'm a brand right yeah. so every like a 12 year old starting a brand today tomorrow it's listed on four like different multi-retail like outlets yeah. it's a brand yeah uh, how do you distinguish good from bad because like let's be honest in the world of fashion it's can say as much as you want about quality yeah. but it's just hype and like you know it's it's status that eventually drives a brand this thing so how do you choose what's cool or not how do you how do you decide what you'd want to pass or what you're not uh and what is acceptable to you and what, what, what would make you what would make you want to buy something when you see a new brand so when i look at somebody's designs i 
if I like them, I'll get them and then I'll speak about them or like review them. Right. I have a lot of brands, uh, homegrown brands that I buy from and there's tons of which I like buy and never wear because the quality is shit. And like with the hype, I'm, I really don't really care. I mean, I can create my own hype. If I wear something, it'll, it'll be hype. Like, because I don't look at people and uh, they're like, oh, he's wearing that. So I want to wear that too. Yeah. But if it's quality, the quality is nice, the design's nice, the fitting's nice, then I'll definitely like wear it. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean, how you'll give a chance to the yeah, style. Yeah. yeah. That's I'll what I say. Instagram's, Instagram's made it too easy. Too. Instagram's yeah. made it too easy, you know, because you can just boom, draw, cut, kar, kardo, upload, guys. About to change the game. Yeah, but <laughs> like, dude, that can might that might start things. It's not s- you can't yeah. sustain it, dude. Yeah, you, you can't, can't sustain, sustain that. Okay, the problem is that um, people who've put heavy effort, investment into co- product quality campaign, everything, and people who haven't, yeah. unfortunately, boiled down to the same. Like I was discussing this with the dude who runs the brand today, and I was really encouraging him to get a store. I was yeah. like, you understand? I know how much you put into this, yeah. but until you differentiate, you're going to be the same as everyone else on Instagram. Mm. And like, where is that experience? Where is the opportunity to, you know, give your consumer uh, something to think about, something to feel, something to feel proud of when you're Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. Yeah. You want to wear things that people will recognize. Yeah. Like it boils down to that. To have, like you, if people understand what it is, that's how you know that. Uh, it's fashion, right? We're, just, we're, just, we're yeah. a social being. Yeah. Human beings are just like that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm okay with like not, like not, for people not knowing what I'm wearing or whatever. But for me, it's about experience. Like, huh, I but know even why do you know th- about the brand, right? I actively look for it, but also because other people... Not about other people as much as if even just you recognizing it, you yeah. are also a person as part of society. So you want to wear shit that you also know. Yeah. Which means that you identify with it. So you're also a part of the same society that you want to accept that, oh, this is what well, I wear. Should be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which is my whole question of, uh, do we let someone drawing is this is that something that you are into if it's like decent product or do you really want more from a brand Dude. does the story matter does all of that matter or is it okay is it just good product I for me story doesn't matter it's, you don't it's a bonus it. it's a good like a background like where you come from yeah. and where you get the inspiration from but like f- the final thing is pro- the product for me if it fits like the quality is nice I like it I'll wear it I don't care about the hype or the story or anything yeah. interesting Tell me again, you don't care about the hype. <laughs> Jaywalking t-shirt, off-white <laughs> shoes. Tell me, tell me. You know, no, I don't care about the hype. It's just, yeah, you know, I really like. So, so I, I really yeah. like these off-whites, bro. The quality <laughs> is great. Like, you know, it's just. This is the story behind it. When I started buying shoes, the first brand that I went on like a shopping spree was like Jaywalking. And was, this was like one year ago. Like, I've seen like. When I followed Jaywalking, they had like 6,000 followers and I started buying stuff and now they've like grown and I've seen them like really boom like last two months. And uh, I mean, I've been wearing Jaywalking like pehle se because yeah. I really like it. Like I think it's like... Have you come to a point where you're like, you know what, everyone's wearing Jaywalking so yeah. let me just stay away? I've stopped right. buying now. Like I really Ooh. cut down on like Jaywalking because everybody's like on it. Because everybody's on and it. And I have like a lot of pieces already. Ah. I want like <laughs> 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 I have my mini <laughs> jala, uh, yeah. Ludhiana jaywalking <laughs> pop-up is just just Akshay. Uh, like Franchise I, I store. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow he's gonna open Blase pop-up featuring jaywalking and Jay's like what? <laughs> <laughs> like what? I was so at this point where I was just texting him bro do a pop-up in uh, my restaurant yeah. and like yeah. I mean the for like you I mean <laughs> 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 just, just for you to show up. <laughs> <laughs> for me, yeah, for me, it's a bit of both, dude. Like, uh, I just enjoy talking. I enjoy about talking about clothes and everything. So if there's a story behind it and I connect to it, damn, that's awesome, dude. And also with clothes, it's about, even if there's no story, it's about like little details and this, that and everything. Like I was talking to Man, Man, uh, he owns this brand, Aesthetic of Resistance. And he sent me a jacket and it's beautiful, dude. Like the little, um, what's it called? The washing tag and everything's just got his little poem on it and stuff like that. Just, you know, he's getting that himself on it. And that's, cool. that's what I enjoy, dude. So. Yeah, gives me yeah, something like to talk that. about. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like, I love I love like small details. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Fascinating, yeah. interesting. But tell me more about sneakers. Where do you buy your shoes, dude? Honestly, it's just a bunch of resellers just on Instagram. Just mainstream. Just <laughs> not allowed <laughs> to say anything. No, say it. Start as what? Still cut. No name of you resellers you buy from. No, no, no. no. He started off as a reseller. Ah, <laughs> you're one of those. <laughs> Damn, dude, let's leave. Yeah, <laughs> Please <cooking>. cut. This <laughs> is just done. <laughs> so I didn't realize I'm gonna be talking to resellers. <laughs> <laughs> so I do this for a living. I don't want to talk to about resellers. I did it for like a month. 
like you did it for a month yeah. do you have a resale page ludhiana kicks or something <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> i made it kicks and I, I i didn't use it like ludhiana i ludhiana drips <laughs> oh, you made one i made a instagram account What's it for selling but i didn't like blaze oh. kicks <laughs> <laughs> What do you name it? What it's, do you name it? It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm very worried. It's called TrueCook.in. Oh like, my lord. Yeah, it's, it's, it's True Cook. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's a great very, play. Very, I like very, that. Very, very I do like <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> chef. Nice. Nice, nice play on it, the it whole chef It all started situation. by like, uh, before everybody was on sneakers trying to get shoes, it was pretty easy to get a shoe on sneakers. And you realize, like, I have too much money for this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to make money off of this. So like, I, I started using those I started using those ATC links that they yeah, came yeah, out yeah, like yeah, yeah. one year ago and, and nobody um, really knew about that. Nobody yeah. knew about yeah, those. Like I was yeah. using the links before anybody knew about those and with those links I got like fragment 3s. I got Union 4 Ofnors from sneakers. Ooh. And when I got those shoes I was like I can make like a lot, 60, of, money. A lot of money. Yeah. Of yeah. And then I like sold both of them and uh, I had like a good amount of money which I was like I'm going to buy six more shoes. And I'm gonna hold them uh, for like six months. Okay. But like, I ended up wearing all of them. <laughs> 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 I, like, I can't do this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so you're saying who resellers you buy from now? Mainstream. Of course. <laughs> nice. But like, honestly, what no I no, I'm generally saying <laughs> name them. We it dub on top of him. Basically, got his sound sample of his <laughs> name, name of bike. So like, I've got I've made good relations, and I'm buying from. Uh, cups and kicks. I'm buying from Contemporary Blues. I'm buying from uh, High Tongue India. It's just like Crep Dog. Who you buy from there? Right? Yes. No, I don't. Not really. I've never bought a shoe from Crep. Oh, Crep Dog, yeah. nice dudes. Huh? Yeah, 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 they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Have you been like fucked over? Like, have you ever been scammed? Oh, yeah, have been scammed. Yeah. So yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah, like, that was so that same guy that uh, we okay. were talking about the other day, uh -huh. uh, like in the morning. I sold a pair of Fragment 3s to him and it's been a year. I haven't got paid yet. And uh, I can't do anything about it now, but like, it's fine. It's Is he like far away? That's the only time you got scammed? Uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Have yeah. you got any fakes? Like, has anyone sent you fakes? Okay, he's dealing with Surprising, the bro. The, your DMs is going to be full. Has Main Street <laughs> scammed you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, are you... Are you like good deals, bro. Is he giving good deals? What yeah. are you saying? Don't, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> did you, did you <laughs> see his, uh, his uh, story sale? I saw, yeah. So I was like, this guy seems to be an experienced Whoa. reseller. He's <laughs> quiet. Like, he knew, bro. He knew how to make it move. I was like, he seems like <laughs> this, this is not the first time he's selling. How to make it move? Bro, the did any resellers buy from the story? Resellers store? pounced I, I, on that shit, yeah, but he did not reply to I the resellers. Yeah, I didn't sell. I didn't sell, didn't sell to the resellers, the resellers, resellers but I sold it to some people who sold it, and I was like, bro, this is oh, like, that's this oh, like, oh, that's, that's upsetting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy because for a lot context, of people who really wanted the for shoe, context, I, yeah, yeah. no, but for <coughs> for context, I think you cleaned out a bunch of items from your closet. Like six to seven pairs. At like garbage cheap prices. <laughs> like he, really, like mids for he was like properly just being like, look, dudes, I really don't need the money from one. this. I under have five k under five k. Yeah, he Everything. was properly like, look, guys, I have too much money. Like, just like take it. I'm <laughs> taking money for the sake. You should feel like you bought yes. this shoe, but <laughs> yes. it's basically charity. <laughs> and he was just trying to flex on his story, and no. all of it sold out in like fourteen <laughs> seconds. And uh, yes. and a bunch of resellers definitely tried. So like I put. I it think I also replied, bro. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't resist. I'm like, bro, I'll take. You go to bed. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then I like I put it on my highlights so people can see. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then honestly, yeah, for the are. next for the next nice next bro. five Lord. days, next five days, you got I got DMs like, bro, give me shoes, bro, give me shoes. <laughs> I want shoes, please, please. I don't have shoes. <laughs> and I took it out of my highlights because it was so. That's so I was funny. So, I still get DMs like, bro, when is the next sale? When is the next sale? <laughs> I don't have more shoes <laughs> to give out. Why'd you do it? Just to like get a little attraction, just get. Just to ice. give back to the community, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> Christian's okay. like, no, don't I lie. Mean, so like, don't lie, bro. What I, are you I, saying? I, I are you the community? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the community. You know, you know the the mids I put out for twenty five hundred rupees. Yeah. I sold them for thousand rupees to my bartender at Blase. Oh, yeah. Like, that's cute. Uh, yeah. yeah. Actually give back but mids bro <laughs> 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 you'd rather not give him anything <laughs> poor guy <laughs> don't do him dirty like that. <laughs> wait you got mids you got mids I've got mids you still have mids I've, I have one okay. I that's yeah. him trying to you know fit in yeah. 
And then it like grew on me and then I bought it. That is a nice But like it was not because of the hype. Like I just didn't mo- like it so I didn't try for it. Fair. No, but I know what you mean with like this audience thing. Like we were supposed to launch our Bombay store with a stupid 50 campaign. Like we were selling like 50 items at stupid cheap prices. Over a year later, we get two to three DMs a day. Hey bro, where is stupid 50? <laughs> <laughs> like, where is stupid 50? Like we did one of our earliest Metro campaigns. We did a 10K easy week like l- almost a year ago. Till today, is this available in yeah. other sizes? Hey, is this available? I'm like, you remember you did it. Can you do it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, interesting. If and only. Like, and like the I wish. <laughs> and like the funniest thing is like, now I put a story of like me trying to like sell this Alexander McQueen shoe. And I was like, give me, people are like, give me All for 2,500. Give me 25. <laughs> like if, if I try to sell anything on my story, people actually think it's for like cheap and like, like I... Oh, now we always think that cheap as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I don't want to... They come to Blasio, but like, how is this I'm food so expensive, I'm not losing any more money bro? on shoes. How is this food so expensive? <laughs> like, why am I paying, like, I'd buy four shoes off of you for this. <laughs> I've been thinking of, like, like doing, like, a story sale, but not, like, shoes, like, clothes. But I don't know. Like, am I... Am I, like, I think I'm privileged enough to, like, give it off instead of earning money from it. Yeah, I don't know, though. No, but the idea of selling is also more to um, make sure receiver, like... So I think it's also mm. a thing to do with placing value per unit fabric. When you give away, that value reduces, mm. which means the person who's received for free might buy something else. I think the effort is more mm. towards maintaining um, minimum wastage and you know slow, slow fashion movement. But like, I don't if, think of if it it's like way. one of us trying to sell, like that's probably not gonna matter. It will, because you have to understand that you sold these mids for twenty five hundred, right? Mm-hmm. That means this dude who really wanted mids. Probably would have spent 10k on mids. Now he has seven and a half thousand left. He's gonna buy two pairs of shoes. So that much more material is technically being put into rotation. Or he might buy a Unless something from a fast fashion pair, from a fast fashion brand or some shit like that. That is, I think, more of what. That's that's one of the biggest reasons that I'm a big fan of what <laughs> I do. <laughs> but because uh, <laughs> I feel like you know this shoe is made with X uh, value per unit fabric, and uh, it being sold multiple times, that value increases. So now we care more about every little bit of manufacturing mm. effort and every little bit of labor and every bit of every like milliliter of water that was spent in the washing of this material and so on and so forth. It's great for the environment, which is cool. Yeah. I don't know if you guys like, care about the environment or whatever, but but if you, I don't know if you heard, it's cool to care about the environment now. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta, yeah, you gotta care. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you have a lot of H&M, Zara, fast fashion? I do. I mean, I so like disgusting. So honestly, like <laughs> it's basically just t-shirts because H&M is that disgusting? Like, are you are you are you serious? No, when you say I'm disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I I like I s- I oh, sorry, finish what yeah. you're saying. No, no, no it's I just I like we were talking about like everybody's making t-shirts, right? But like if you go in my closet, uh, eighty like sixty percent of the t-shirts are H and M because this one t-shirt called the heavyweight cotton, yeah. I literally wear that every day. Like that's one t-shirt that like f- is a good fitting, and I like. Uh, do you rotate it quick though? If it fades out, like when does it fade? And then what? What happens to it? I only so like I get my so they become like a nightwear basically. Well, they stay. Yeah, they stay. That's that's the issue, right? No, that's not as much of the issue as the people who will just every week be out and doing the exactly, exactly. That is a problem. Yeah, yeah. But I still feel like you know we can talk about as much how much ever you talk about thrift and this and that. The only time you know I've said this several times before. The only time we're going to see real change is when sustainable material and sustainable practice oh, becomes profitable. Right. That's just how things are. Yeah, <laughs> people yeah. need to make money. So it's just like real life. Yeah, some people really care about so, it. So, you know, if someone's doing something excessively stupid, I'll just be like, oh, I don't, like, I won't impose my opinion as much, but I'll just be like, I'm not comfortable talking to But you think from your business? Or, from a business standpoint, Why? it's an <laughs> excellent business, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> they make a lot of money. Yeah. Like it's great, just underpay a bunch of kids. Uh, you know, they don't oh. mind. <laughs> they don't mind getting paid very less. Yeah. You pay them even less than they deserve, and you mix. And then there's people like Akshay, who are like, oh, this is too faded to wear. I gotta buy a new one. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and you keep making money on that shit, bro. I think it's a great business. <laughs> 
So now I've started getting my t-shirts dry clean because they don't fade them. Yeah. Ah. And it's like sustainable. What's up? Is it? You guys. I mean, it's like, I'm not like, fa- like I'm not. I don't know if dry cleaning is sustainable. I mean, yeah, if, I, if I wash it, it'll like tip. fade out within like six Dry cleaning hours. involves a lot of chemical use. I'm not fully familiar with the process. Yeah. But yeah, and then washing is, I think, a bigger it. waste of water or yeah. whatever. I don't know. How mm. sweet is it, man? And <laughs> the product lasts longer, so like, it makes sense for me to do it. So you've been into sneakers how long? One and a half year? You're deep in like sneaker community. Are you on any WhatsApp groups and all? No. Okay. I'm no, not on any discords. I'm not on any WhatsApp nice. groups. And people kind of like... I don't know. I've always paid like a good price because I appreciate people trying to like source the shoe for me. That's nice. Dude. Some like people are mad cheap. Yeah, people like don't like. I I pay what the shoe is like. If I look, I look at StockX, and like I'll try to pay around that only. Like it's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. So some people are like, oh bro, you you have too much money. It's not everyone does that. But like, bruv, sorry. Instead yeah, of thirty two thousand, you're pay asking to pay thirty thousand. Don't tell me about your lack of <laughs> privilege. <laughs> like, sorry, we're all like you're all spending stupid yeah. money on shoes. Like you're already in that realm. So, if you go on my Instagram, there's a highlight of says like sneakers, and like if you go through it, I've tagged every reseller who I've bought the shoe from. Yeah. So I do. I don't charge them. I don't yeah. ask for discounts. I just do yeah. it because, I like people who follow me, they'll know like. So you get I'm a about. bunch of like resellers DMing you. Yeah, buy from me. Buy this from me. Happened. Ha, buy from me. When you buy from one person, they're like, "Hey, bro, don't buy from them." You got ever? Like, I, I, I post somebody, uh, like I posted like a shorts from Heatwave, and like people text me, "Bro, he charges to way too much." And all that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody <laughs> has that shoe. Yeah, see, yeah, so yeah, bro, he's yeah. a, he's just yeah. a bad <laughs> person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's like one yeah. of my boys, dude. He's one of my closest friends. This he's the funniest guy I know. But like, nobody has that size in the shorts that he has so like and screw they, that you dude. screw that you want to buy from dude. someone who takes yeah. care of you you pay the premium to someone who takes care of you yeah, how yeah, it is, right? yeah. I'm sure service is top notch you didn't get any main street hate when you posted that's no. damn common no, no, no. you know god that's crazy bro. I I didn't get any but like I know this meme street guy like kind of like huh. keeps a track on my account like I huh. don't know like so what, because what, did you say something no look, last thing when I when veg knowledge dropped this uh Jordan 4's UNC, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, so, bro, I posted that. Uh, so you like, won it, right? Yeah, I was yeah. sitting on the computer like a normal person. I, I got the shoe. Yeah. I was super excited. And I went to the Instagram page and I posted, like, I com- commented, like, copped. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, cop. And, like, Main Street took, Meme Street took, like, a screenshot and, like, put it on there. And, like, I got so much hate that you were, like, backdoored. Like, yeah, yeah. Veg Non-Veg, like, you working with them and all that. And you have no idea. And... It's just stupid. I was like, I just tried it like a normal person. Like, yeah. I well, there's a lot of like, that's one thing about sneaker community is a lot of like dirty like hate. Yeah. So I absolutely like, I you know so we get with a brunt of so much of it, and yeah. it it gets accentuated because we never respond. We're very you know we do our own thing. We keep our head down. Like okay, you want to hit? Sorry, if we actually d- made a mistake, we'll always apologize. We'll make up for it. We'll compensate because that's the one thing that I know that we've done more than anyone. Right? Yeah. We've put so much into taking care of our customers. Buy everything off StockX and shit. And I didn't I didn't have enough knowledge. And those were the first guys that I started like coping with, yeah. like the shoes cooking and all. And uh, this was before content creating. Before I started doing fashion, and. They, I was just with them. They used to talk shit about Main Street, and uh, once I started making content, once I started like buying actually shoes from resellers, not just sneakers, and I got into this culture. That's when I realized that you guys are really doing something that needs to be respected more. And like, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing, because no, you are at that level because nobody else can do what you guys are doing. Mm. Like, you know, Fuck like yeah, dude. So like, I appreciate that. Yeah. Man. Awesome. Yeah, not, I don't know how to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so used to listening yeah. to hate and just discussing that. Uh, that guy was like, we can talk about this. <laughs> but all these nice things. Are yeah, how, how do you deal with like compliments? Like, oh shit, oh, like Vedu, wow. what you're doing is absolutely amazing. <laughs> what do you, what do you say? <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. <laughs> you're literally paid to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, but how do, how do you deal with like compliments and shit? You get it on a daily basis, obviously. I'm, I just think Kishan's just out here flirting with both of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how do you? Have? No, because I don't know, dude. I don't know how to. I'm like, there's a long way to go, but thank you so much. And, you know, I'm just. I have formula- I've, I've formulated the right uh, approach. Uh, it's, a, it's a very steady combination of. Gratefulness. You know, I'm so, I'm so, that means so much to me. Yeah. You know, I've just understood the right things to say over time. It's just. 
thank you dude that really means a lot to me that you take yeah. the time to watch Hi, this song, you know interact with them your support yeah. like that's i've just understood that, okay these things just play right with you and that's how i feel also. yeah 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 for I'm sure like, dude i genuinely i'm like yeah. Yeah, what dude. like yeah. every time i hear something i'm like Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you yeah, know, the other day we were hunting for space in Delhi, and you know we're still thinking about it. We at the location, we're thinking about it. There's a bunch of other stores like around, and, and this random dude was crossing by. He said, "Hey, yo, are you trying to get a store?" I was like, "Yeah." He said, "Dude, I got my first Gizi through you guys." Oh hell yeah! I was like, "Oh, oh that, shit. that's a feeling that's like yeah. that's warm, like, dude. That feels so good, dude. Like yeah. nothing, cause it's also still new to me. Cause I didn't grow up." buying shoes i still don't like buy shoes i'm not part of like a so it's still like oh wow we've actually like you know Made that, that's real like it's 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 real like yeah. in my head i'm like i'm i play numbers and i just look at that but then when i actually see in the real world that it's that it's something real that's like oh shit yeah. dude like, i can't believe it it's still like the most like gratifying feeling in the world i'm sure you Fuck also get a lot of people like saying do you inspire them Shin to has fashion only love Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get, I got a lot. Well, I'm like, so grateful so for it. Like, yeah, dude. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah I, have, I think it's amazing. It's a large part of why I had to associate with him. No, I'm. <laughs> I was like, we need some of his love. I'm genuinely like trying to be influential, like not influential, yeah. but influential, dude. So. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. It's a big yeah. influence. Yeah. It's inspiring people, which is great. Yeah. Who, who inspires you, dude? Like to make the con, make content and shit. And your fashion, who inspires style, you guys? It's different, dude. It's different. Like extremely stylish, yeah. very aesthetically pleasing individuals. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm super Thank grateful, and <laughs> really, really a long way to go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 who, who, where do you pick inspo from? Because I think you know India is unfortunately not a lot of Bollywood inspo. Like even when there are a lot of dudes, a lot of Bollywood celebrities who are into it and dress well. It's not highlighted, like, because the mass doesn't care, right? Yeah. In yeah. fact, the mass is more, like, India has a very um, dirty, like, hate wealth culture, so it's very hard to pick so much inspo from Bollywood and athletes yeah. and all of that. So why do you guys pick like inspo from? For me, it started off with actually these Instagram itself. Like, I saw Krishan doing it way before I started doing it, and I saw a bunch of like people outside India, like Oli Brown is one of them, uh, Curly. feed guy yeah the curly fries yeah curly fries yeah. yeah and then he's pretty chill uh i basically just get it from instagram different people different accounts that's that's really it for me it was the uk dude the uk culture and everything you living there uh, i was studying in oh, the uk so that's when you picked up yeah yeah so there i just like yeah i remember seeing it I yeah i'm yeah. noticing over time cuz you know, krishna go way back to so pune everybody it's like yeah. a, it's like a slightly larger version of ludhiana yeah. <laughs> everybody knows everybody. Slightly. Okay, you can take twenty minutes to go across one end of the city. I remember seeing Krishan slowly, slowly, suddenly one by one. There's one nice shoe, and second nice shoe, third nice shoe. Suddenly there's a rotation. Yeah. And then I remember you messaged, messaged me saying, I, "I know you're big on the low, but you've got like a few good sneakers." Yeah, yeah, and I, I was like, tell. "I yeah. was like," and then I remember then when you finally jumped into it, I was like, "Yes, sir." Yeah, dude, that was the that's lockdown. Serious, no? that's huh? Oh, that that's a friend of mine called Neil Shetty. Shout out to him. And uh, yeah, he he does me wear it and everything. He he doesn't want to wear it. Yeah, which is which is like, oh, that's beautiful. The black cements. The black cement. Yeah, you've got you've got a pair as well. I just got them recently, but like because of you, I've seen you wear it a lot, a lot of times. And I'm beautiful. Sick. Yeah, dude. Okay, but Blase commenter Delhi soon. Yes. Okay, but let's take a vote. Where should Blase be next? Burgaon or, or Delhi? Delhi. Or, I, I'm asking them. No, just between these two. Yeah, vote anywhere in India. <laughs> That's where you want to see Blase. Let's see where Akshay's biggest following is. So. And uh, yeah, dude, uh, subscribe to the channel. Tell them to subscribe. Please subscribe to Main Street. Thank you. <laughs> Please. And if you were part of the Main, Main Street, Street hater community like Akshay was, be like Akshay and switch, and uh, come join the family. And yeah, that's about it. All right, see you guys. See you guys soon. Closet. Stay yeah. tuned for closet two. Unless we've already dropped it. Let's do. Yeah. Watch it if you haven't. And yeah, that's all.